and we are back modeling more systems. And first we're just going to talk about the general model for an electric system. This is an electrical engineering course, so I'm going to start with these modeling ele electronic system circuits. We'll also look at some other systems, maybe mechanical or other. But let's just talk about a system generally. So say I have this circuit and I want to model it. I want to do some analysis on it to understand it to make a control system. So what we have to do is, here's our system, we have to understand it. This is a voltage source, and this, this very value may vary with time. So we're going to label it as a V of T. So here's one variable. We have a voltage, maybe it's changing. But we also have to look at the other components in our system. So we have a voltage, this is a complete circuit, so we'll also have a current. All right, so this current's the same through all of them. We can call it I of T. So that's another variable in our system. We also have voltages over these, right? So if you remember uh, V equals IR here, so let's label that voltage. So this voltage is VR of T, okay, the voltage over the resistor. And there's also this voltage over the capacitor. So VC of T. So these are all the different variables that are in our system. So let's just write that out over here. So variables here. Okay, we have the voltage. We have the current. And the voltage over the two components. Okay, but so here's our system. We kind of understand what's going on with it. But the next question is, what's our input? What do we control in the system? It could be, if it's a really complex system, there may be multiple inputs. In this case, this uh, voltage source is our input. So say someone's controlling it. So we'll uh, let, say Valerie is our input. So she is a, a control. So she's the input here. So our input, we'll just label these input. And we'll say it's a, a controlled by some sort of person or alien or something. So you have an input, and that is V of T. Okay? And then the next question is what is your output? So we have these other variables. This one became our input, but we have these other ones. Which one of those is our output? Well, it depends on what you're trying to do, your control objective. Right, so if we take our objective is what we're trying to actually hit so or meet, so this is our objective, it could be this voltage over this resistor. Maybe we want to get a certain voltage out of here. It could be the current through the circuit Maybe we have some heating element and we need to reach a certain power and we need to put that through the resistor. So we maybe we would control the current. Or it could be the voltage. So the voltage out of this output capacitor, maybe this is a power supply or something to another circuit. So we need to control this voltage. And well, we could choose a bunch of different ones. So let's say output. So it could really be any of these, but let's say that we're going to pick VC here. Okay, and we'll move these into block diagrams as well. So the block diagram of this system, so we call this the plant or it's the, the system, but it's usually without the control loop put onto it. So in our plant, just as it is, our input, so if we assume this is our input and this is our output, our plant here is V, and our output, is, in this case, is VC. Okay, and initially we're gonna look at single input and then single output. So we've chosen one input value and one output va value variable, 
Uh, and then inside of here, though, are the other states. So you could say that the current and the VR are also states in your system. And what we're going to do in the next couple videos is to figure out how what what's inside of the system. And we're going to represent that as GP, so the plant. And we're going to do it in the frequency domain initially. And this is called the transfer function of the plant. So we're going to work on deriving those values.